Good afternoon. This is meteorologist Jonathan Kurtz with the National Weather Service in Norman, Oklahoma, with an updated weather briefing regarding the potential for hazardous winter weather beginning today through the weekend. We're going to try to hit quite a few headlines in this briefing, so please bear with me. The first of which will be the continued movement of the cold front south-southeast across the southern plains today through tonight. This is a very progressive front, already having cleared northwestern Oklahoma through 11.30 a.m. Ahead of this strong cold front, thunderstorms will be possible this afternoon across southern Oklahoma and portions of northern Texas as dew points continue to rise into the mid-60s this afternoon. Behind the front, rain and drizzle will increase across much of the area, with freezing rain and drizzle likely after sunset, beginning across northwestern Oklahoma and spreading southeastward through Friday morning. Light accumulations can be anticipated with up to one-tenth of an inch expected across portions of central and southern Oklahoma. Freezing rain and drizzle will end sporadically through Friday night, ceasing by Saturday morning. Behind this activity, a stout Arctic high will spread across the central United States, with very cold temperatures funneling across Oklahoma and western North Texas for Friday and Saturday. I'll also hit on a return of winter weather Sunday into Monday as snowfall across the region is looking more likely. At the moment, the cold front surged quickly this morning across northwestern Oklahoma, with temperatures dropping behind the front in the low to upper 30s. At its current rate, expect the front to reach the Oklahoma City metro sometime between noon and 2 p.m., with it clearing the Red River in western North Texas later this evening. Temperatures will fall quickly behind the front, with temperatures by 7 p.m. across northwestern Oklahoma holding in the upper 20s and lower 30s while temperatures across central and western Oklahoma dip into the upper 30s and lower 40s. With the front just clearing the Red River by 7 p.m., temps will likely linger in the 50s to lower 60s across far southern Oklahoma and western north Texas through 7 p.m. As mentioned earlier, ahead of the surging cold front this afternoon, increased warm air advection and moisture return ahead of the front will result in dew points in the mid-60s. Thunderstorms will be possible, with a few th strong thunderstorms expected. With that said, given the speed of the front, storms will likely be undercut by the boundary fairly quickly, becoming elevated, with little chance for severe storms at this time. The more pressing impact from the system will be the potential ice accumulation from freezing rain and drizzle overnight tonight through Friday. Some questions remain in the exact location and impacts from this system, but at the moment it looks like the best chance for icing up to a tenth of an inch will be across central and southwestern Oklahoma, possibly into far western North Texas. Light sleet and less ice accumulations can be expected for northwestern Oklahoma, while rain and drizzle will slowly transition overnight into freezing drizzle, freezing rain across south central Oklahoma and western North Texas, so some ice accumulation will be possible there as well. Impacts to roads is expected to be minimal as ground temperatures will remain warm overnight, but elevated surfaces such as bridges, trees, power lines, etc. could see a light glaze in some locations. Even with the light icing expected, strong north winds behind the front could result in minor tree damage and sporadic power outages. Friday morning commuters are encouraged to take their time. Remember to leave early and give plenty of room to other drivers. So what is freezing rain? Well, freezing rain occurs when rain, which is in a liquid state, falling through the atmosphere encounters temperatures below freezing at or near the surface. The lack of what we call ice nuclei prevents the liquid drops from freezing within this layer right away. But as soon as the drop hits an object such as a tree or power line, which is also below freezing, the drop freezes immediately on impact. In response to the threat from freezing rain, a winter weather advisory will be in effect from 6 p.m. tonight through 6 a.m. Saturday for portions of central and western Oklahoma. A wind advisory is also in effect from 6 p.m. tonight through 6 a.m. Friday for portions of western North Texas and western and central Oklahoma as winds overnight will be sustained 20 to 30 miles per hour, gusting to 45. Updates to these advisories may come later on this afternoon and overnight, so stay tuned to our webpage at weather.gov forward slash Norman for the most up-to-date watches and warnings and advisories. For Friday, north winds will continue during the day with widespread clouds, rain, and freezing rain. This will keep high temperatures at or below freezing over much of northern and western Oklahoma, and even south-central Oklahoma will struggle to get into the 40s. Lows Friday night should fall below freezing most places, and any accumulated ice will likely stay put through Saturday morning. 
For Saturday, northerly winds will keep temps cold as an Arctic high continues to nose into the southern plains. Temperatures Saturday morning will dip into the mid to upper 20s to lower 30s with afternoon highs struggling to reach the 40s. Now, as mentioned earlier, there is a return of winter weather for Sunday after a dry Saturday. Now, for Sunday, models continue to be up in the air, per se, as to what we can expect heading into, into and through the day on Sunday and into Monday. We're fairly confident winter weather will continue, but impacts and timing will be hard to nail down at this time. At the moment, some locations may see a trace to an inch of snow along with sleet and rain earlier in the day. We'll need to keep an eye on Sunday through Monday as we continue to approach the weekend, so be sure to stay tuned to our webpage and social media outlets for the latest information. This concludes the winter weather briefing from the National Weather Service in Norman, Oklahoma. Thanks for hanging in there with me as we had a lot to cover. As always, be sure to check out our webpage frequently at weather.gov forward slash Norman. There you can find the most up-to-date information regarding forecasts, watches, and warnings. Also be sure to check out our recently updated winter weather safety page. It has a ton of new and useful information for all those interested. You can find a link to it at the top of our homepage. We highly suggest you give it a look and share it with your friends. As always, don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Remember to be safe and use good judgment when dealing with winter weather. Thanks again for listening and have a wonderful Thursday.